this is the production example of Blender's text. I choose the scene from one of the VDA Corsair tutorial scene file. And uh, this is this is a typical, you know, the scene with the three layers, like a foreground, middle ground, background. So when I just render everything, this is what it looks like. So I will separate this as a three passes, foreground, middle ground, background. And this uh, file was actually a tutorial file for the atmosphere effect. So it had a bunch of atmospheric effects. So we will render two atmospheric effects as a separate layer so we can adjust or control in comp stage. So let's see. And also I reorganized layer for the scene. So it, I separate light camera and the city. I separate as a background, mid ground. So background, mid, uh, that's foreground, and mid ground, and the ground plane. So this scene has a 6.6 .6 polys and 7.8 perch. So it is good candidate for actual production scene. So let's see. So I made five passes. So let's see. This is foreground pass. And it has usual camera, you know, resolution, uh, frame range, render output, whatnot. Uh, in the visibility, I use a nested layer set, a nested layer CD. So everything under CD will be shown for these passes but this is supposed to be foreground pass why i need to show all of them because some there is like a some object passing through and also here's a reflection i need to get from the background so i actually need when i render i need to unhide them all but what i need to do is i only render foreground object but make it background and mid middle ground and background as a uh, not visible to camera so this is object props render is for that so this is a base uh, object props render you can see because there's a you know green line and the text is green so that means it's space p modifier so here nested layer set again mid back mid and back and ground so editing on the back mid ground will be used to control visible camera i i just use the nest layer set because there's some sub layer i don't want to select them all manually so i just select the top layer and then anything under the layer will be used because it's a nested layer set so in the base pass visible camera is on but here mid and background uh, visible camera is off so for these passes eventually middle back and the ground pass will only show for reflection and reflection not for the like actual cam render so let's see so foreground beauty is rendering so that's what it looks like as you see you can see the like a background through this object and you can see the reflection too but it doesn't have middle ground and background right so that's that and then yeah so middle, middle ground beauty is easy just only unhide the middle ground and then that's background so you just sh show the background and the uh, ground object and then render so that's the middle foreground background pass and let me collapse and then for the area like a uh, atmospheric pass so i added the atmospheric override so in the base atmospheric override it turned up the more so by default it will not render any atmospherics but in here I turn on only uh, uh, ADR perspective blue atmospherics 
and then since we are rendering atmospherics i don't want to like uh, render the background again because the, the the background sky environment should be in the like a background image already so i want to turn up environment I want to turn up environment map for the fog. So I turned up by adding environment override. And then I use VDA override material to make all objects black because I just want to get the fog. So if I render this pass, this is what it looks like. Okay, see? we rendered only like a uh, area perspective blue atmospherics so i cut i duplicated it and i just change atmospherics turn on other atmospheric far so i can have a different folk so i don't need to render middle four middle four or five background like a twice i just render one time and i can swap which atmospheric effect I want to apply to. So that's five pass I need to render. So I already made a, a pass set here. So I select all five passes and type name here and press enter. Then all five pass set. So I can just select all five pass again without you can remember or manually selecting passes. I just select here then you do select those five passes and i can just before render i can preview them all in one go so it is it, you should always like a double check before you submit to the farm if everything is set up properly for whatever passes you want to submit so when you preview only one frame or it is show up in the frame buffer. But as you see, if you do multiple preview, it keep changing the people pre the people frame buffer. So later you cannot see the previous image. For that, I bet if you select multiple passes, it basically saving temporarily to each passes in your render of folders. Also here you can see the progress bar is like uh, progressing so it progressing with yellow color and then it, when it reaches the last pass it turns to green and turn back to like a uh, black so that means our renders our previous done and then again our preview is saved in the render alpha folder in the let's see render alpha folder rspr underscore rsprb then it renders here each passes with the pass name and then it automatically brings all the images to the ram player so you can see okay so what each pass looks like thank you for watching